Hey guys and girls, and welcome to episode 6 of 30 of Killer Statistics. Serial killers have been studied mainly by psychology students and teachers. And in this video, I have compiled an accurate and detailed list of research showing the statistics of serial killers, how likely it is that you've already met a serial killer, the likelihood of you working with, passing by or having a personal relationship with a serial killer. Serial killers have a higher fear threshold meaning they have a harder time becoming scared, often leading to them needing to seek out a more intense thrill to become scared. Whilst a lot of them do not even really experience fear. These are the top professions a serial killer is most likely to work in. Skilled occupations aircraft machinist, assembler, shoemaker slash repair person, automobile upholsterer, semi-skilled occupations, forestry worker, arborist, truck driver, warehouse manager, unskilled occupations, general labourer, such as a mover or a landscaper, a hotel porter, or a gas station attendant. Professional and government occupations. Police or security official. Military personnel or a religious official. Here are a few facts about serial killers. The definition of a serial killer. What class is someone as a serial killer is someone who has murdered three or more people over a period of more than a month with the calling off period between murders. The motive is usually based on psychological, often sexual gratification. Some of the motives may be financial gain, anger, revenge or attention seeking, also self-defense. It's a known fact, according to the FBI, that more than 70% of serial killers experienced problems related to substance abuse growing up, in addition to intimately stressful events in a sexual manner. The most prolific serial killer was Dr. Harold Shipman, alive from 1946 to 2004, with over 250 acclaimed murders. He was a British doctor with his oldest victim being a 93 year old woman and the youngest a 41 year old man. He committed suicide by hanging himself in his prison cell a day before his 58th birthday. America's first serial killer who many of us may already know is Dr. H. Holmes, who confessed to 27 murders in the late 1890s. He commonly said that he was a murderer no more than the poet can help the inspiration to sing. Between 30 to 38 percent of psychopaths show abnormal brainwave patterns, most of these being serial killers. Criminologists estimate that at least 86% of male serial killers are heterosexual. Almost all serial killers in history admit that they started out acting their sadistic fantasies out on animals. For example, Jeffrey Dahmer impaled frogs, cats, and dogs' heads on sticks before he moved on to people. A common myth is that all serial killers 
are American. This is not true. There have been serial killers in the Middle East, Asia, all over Europe, Southern Europe, Western Europe, Eastern Europe, Central Europe, and Northern Europe, the Mediterranean, and the Americas outside of the United States. If you would like more information on serial killers, more information on this episode, and if you would like to see my sources of information, please go to the description below this video where all the corresponding links will be left. And that concludes episode 6 of 30 of Killer Statistics.